Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Contour Next Gen Blood Glucose Monitor. Included in the kit, you will receive the monitor. The kit that I purchased had the Microlet Lancet device as well as 10 Microlet Lancets to get started with. In addition to the kit, you will need to purchase test strips. Always ensure that they are the correct test strips for this meter. Um, additionally, you will need replacement lancets. We'll go over that a little bit more when we set up the lancet device. Let's take, it the, take a look at the meter first, though. On the front of the meter, there are three buttons, the up and down button as well as the OK button. As well, it, and there is your test strip port. That is where the test strip is inserted into the meter. It does have a USB port on the side of the meter that will not recharge the battery. That is used to connect to a computer. If you have the proper software downloaded, you can download your readings into the computer. And then there's a battery door right there. First off, uh, to turn on the meter, you simply press the OK button and the meter will power on. Inserting a test strip will also power on the meter. Then you are on the home screen right there. Right there, the logbook is flashing. So if you wanted to review your previous readings, when the logbook symbol is flashing, you could press OK, and that would take you into your logbook. And then we can arrow, and the little sprocket starts flashing. That is your settings menu. We can, uh, if your date and time are not correct, you can go into your settings menu to change that. So when that's flashing, we'll press OK. And it's flashing on the time. So if you want to press the, set the time, you can press OK, and it will take you to the time. Then there's your date. When that's flashing, you can adjust that as well. The mealtime indicators is an option, which we will cover later in the video. If you press OK, that would give you the chance to set that up. Uh, that's if you want the lights to come on on the test strip port, indicating if your blood glucose is in range. That's for setting your target range of blood glucose, and that is for the system sound. Let's start off with the time. So when the time's flashing, you can press OK. It gives you the option if you want 12 hour or 24 hour. So you can use your up and down arrows to adjust to what some people refer to as military time, or if you prefer AM and PM, you'd want to choose a 12 hour, press OK. Then onto your hour, you would adjust that to your correct time, press OK. Same with the minutes, press OK. And then AM or PM, once correct, press OK. Returns you to the home screen. Then if you need to adjust the time, again, we go back into that settings menu with the settings icon flashing, press OK. And press the arrow until your date is flashing. Press OK. And then it's going to give you the option down here if you prefer month day or day month, depending on your preference of how you like the date displayed. Uh, I will leave it on month day. Go OK. Then it gives you an option to change the year, again, using your arrow buttons to adjust that. Then we're on to the month. Again, adjust with your arrows. OK to get to the day of the month. Once correct, again, OK. And we are back at the home menu. To power off the meter, it will power off on its own after a few minutes, or you can hold the OK button and it will power off. Another option is to press the OK button twice and that turns on the, the test strip um, port light. Can make that easier to see in low light conditions. Okay, now that our meter is set up, let's go ahead and get our Lancet device ready. This is the Microlet Lancet device. Um, pulling on this back charges the spring. Now that spring will send the Lancet forward when you press the button. Pressing the button, you can kind of see it pops up a little when the spring is charged. Pressing it sends the lancet forward, and that's, of course, pokes your finger to produce the drop of blood. Uh, it does have a depth setting here. One would be the shallowest, and five would be the deepest um, as far as how far the lancet will go into your finger. I generally start around three for myself and adjust from there if needed. To remove this, you just need to twist. There's a little notch right there. And you just twist that over to that other setting. And right there is where your lancet will go in. So you just need to retrieve one lancet. Again, lancets are one-time use. 
Uh, so you want to use a fresh lancet each time. These are microlet lancets. Uh, I can include a link for those if you need replacements. Keep in mind, uh, many pharmacy store brand lancets will also uh, work in this machine. If you look at these Walgreens one, it does list microlet as compatible. Same thing with these CVS. Uh, right there is microlet. So that's an option for you as well. So we have our lancet, and they recommend that you twist the, the top to loosen it. However, you leave it on. And then you insert it into the barrel. Once it's fully seated in there properly, you can twist that top off. That exposes the lancet, which of course will, which you're gonna use to poke your finger. And then you wanna replace the lid. You see how that notch lines up where we had it, and then we twist it to the locked position. Make sure our depth is set correctly. And our spring is charged. Our hands are thoroughly washed with warm, soapy water, rinsed and dried. Then we would put it against our finger, press the button, take our reading. Once our reading is over, we would take our lancet out and we jab it into the top of that piece of plastic that we saved. So no one can accidentally get poked by that. And then there's a lancet eject here on the side. Just push that and it falls out and you can dispose of that properly. And then we'll just, we can replace the cap. And there we go. Okay, let's get ready to take a reading. So again, we'll get our lancet device ready as we just learned how to do. We put in a lancet a fresh lancet, twist the top off, replace the cap. Lock it into place. Make sure the depth is to our preference. Make sure the spring is charged. Make sure our hands are thoroughly washed with warm soapy water, rinsed and dried. Then we retrieve a test strip. Always make sure your test strips are in date and that we keep the lid on the test strip vial closed tightly when not in use. And right there, that is what goes into the meter. So you just, remember this will turn on the meter. So you just insert that. And now it's prompting for a drop of blood. So again, our hands are uh, washed, thoroughly dried. I like to use the side of the finger Give it a little, and if you need to gently massage your finger to ensure an adequate drop of blood, then you take your meter, touch it to that drop of blood. There's your reading, 99. All right, so then you can remove your, your test strip and dispose of that properly. Again, we did go over how to remove the lancet, but it doesn't hurt to go over that one more time. You just take that out, you jab it into the top, and you can eject that right into your um, proper disposal container. Place the lid for next time. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to set the meal markers. Uh, that's an additional feature you can use if you'd like, and it just indicates your reading if it was taken in a fasted state, prior, just before eating or after eating. Um, so we'll get to our home screen. We'll hold down the OK button. Then we'll arrow over to the settings. When the sprocket is flashing, press OK. And then we want to press the arrow until we get over here to our little menu. The uh, apple with the line through it is fasted. The full apple is before eating, and of course the eaten apple is after eating is what those indicate. So we can press the OK, and right now it's off. So we can turn that on, press OK, and now the meal indicator option is available. Okay, so now let's take a look at what those target ranges are uh, for before eating and after eating. In our settings menu, we can arrow down to the little arrow on a target, press OK, 
and then our target this would be first our target for uh, before eating so it defaults to 70 to 130. if you want to change that of course you can use your up and down arrow buttons to adjust that and then this is your after eating uh, 70 to 180 is the target range again you can adjust that and you can work with your healthcare provider to determine the appropriate ranges for you press ok and we're back to the main menu so now we can take a reading and flag that in relation to um, our status of whether we're fasted before a meal or after a meal again take out one test strip always reseal that vial Go ahead and insert that test strip. And it's flashing there. I have the Lancet device. I've washed my hands thoroughly, warm soapy water, dry, rinsed and dried them. I put in a fresh Lancet. And we will get a drop of blood. Gently massage the finger if needed. And we'll touch that to the drop of blood. And there we go. While your reading is still on the window, then you want to use your arrow button to adjust. Again, you can, that would be fasting, that would be before a meal, that would be after a meal. And then you can press OK. And then that reading will be saved as an after meal reading. It just gives those readings a little more relevance when you go back to look at them. And then we can dispose of our test strip. Again, if we wanted to look at our readings, we can hold the OK button to get us to the main menu, to the main screen, and the logbook will be flashing. So we can press OK, and we can use those up and down to review our previous readings. And then it will calculate your averages, and then you can look at the individual readings. If you use the meal marker, that will be there. If you didn't use the meal marker, there's no indication on there. Press and hold the OK to power off. Okay, well, I hope you found this video useful uh, and helps you use your machine uh, more effectively. If you do have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them below in the comments. And if you found it useful, I would appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.